Welcome to another edition of Small Talk for you. This morning I wanted to get started with Window Builder Pro. The first thing you need to do is import it into your NV repository once you've got it on your system. I've already done that piece. Once you've done it though, you go to Tools, Browse Configuration Maps, and you scroll down a bit past the alphabetical list here, and you go down past this, you get to TUVW, Window Builder Pro. You've already got the runtime as part of your system, but you needed this loaded into your repository. Then you can just right click here, load with required maps, and it'll bring everything in. Once that completes, you can close this window, and you'll notice there's a new menu on your launcher, Window Builder. And we'll just start with New Window, and we'll get this kind of canvas over here. And what you've got is a standard kind of canvas editing environment where you've got your window you're going to build, the widgets you're going to put on, and then a bunch of options for positioning them and so on. I'm going to get to some of the basics this morning. We're going to just paint a window, and then the next screencast will actually hook it up and actually use it. The thing to remember here is these are categories of widgets, so if I want types of labels, I select here, and then I can get the actual label here. So I go over here, you see the little cross here, I'm going to put a label down. And if I double click on this, I get this kind of field here, I can make it anything I want and then I can put a label on it. So let's put counter, because what I'm going to eventually do is add my counter one-up type of application. So let's close that. Now I want to get a button, so I click there, and I just want a regular push button. So I'll push that down there, and I will double click. And we'll give this a label of add one. And then finally, we need an input field. So if you do that, I go back here to text widgets, and then down here, you've got either a regular text or enhanced text. We want the enhanced text because we want to give it some formatting. So we'll select this, We'll put this down. We're not going to worry too much about positioning at the moment. We're just going to double click on this. And you can see there are a whole bunch of things we can do. I want to say this is going to be numeric of type integer. And I want to give it a value of zero to start. And I can leave pretty much the rest of this alone. So let's just hit OK. And that pretty much specifies all the layouts I want. Now if I go back to the window, I can double click on that as well. And let's call this counter view. And you can see I can do that. So now I've got a basic window. I could position these better using the tools up here, but I'll leave that alone for now. What I want to do is save this. I'm going to go to File, Save, and I'm going to now say Counter View. So I'm going to save it as a Counter View. So I gave it a class name here. I want a new application, so I'll say Counter View App. So I have to give it an application to live in. Now, I've already done this because I kind of played with this before. Normally, you wouldn't see this warning. I'll say yes. And it'll go ahead and create it for me. And now, if I go over here to Tools, Browse Applications, and I find Counter View. Let's go down here. Counter View App. You see, now I've got my Counter View. And it generated a bunch of code for me. But I have to go into All to see it. So I have Add Widgets. This is where the widgets are actually added. Now. Unlike some of the other environments you're familiar with, you won't need to actually modify this method. What you'll do is grab these things by name. If you notice, all of these things have names. So this is a label. This is the name I gave it. There are ways within the tool to give it more meaningful names, but that's the name it'll give it by default. And you can grab this thing at runtime that way. And in the next screencast, we'll go through that when we hook this thing up to work. But this is the basics. What you do is you paint your interface in the tool here. And I can even test this out. So I can go in here to test window. Now, it's not going to do anything because I haven't done anything with it, but it actually functions. So at this point, I've finished with this tool, and now I need to hook the rest of it up. And we'll get to that in the next screencast. So until next time, have fun with whatever small talk you're using.